Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Recently, TSMC and ASML have successively announced their first quarter financial reports. The performance of foundry giant TSMC no longer continues to rise, while the performance of lithography machine giant ASML is still impressive. It can be seen that the overall demand for lithography machines is still strong. However, just like when the performance of other fabs declined, TSMC continued to rise, and now its performance has begun to decline. ASML is actually also worried about this situation. Recently, it made two consecutive voices, and the reversal began to appear. Due to the decline in performance, TSMC has comprehensively slowed down the expansion projects under construction. As a result, some media said that the lithography machine giant ASML suffered a large order cut. Among them, some lithography machine orders in 2024 were cut by about 40% by TSMC. In this regard, ASML officials did not respond positively, but at the recent financial report meeting, they emphasized that the total backlog of orders currently exceeds 38.9 billion euros, and the overall demand exceeds this year's production capacity. It is expected that this year's performance will still rise. However, ASML seems to be trying to cover it up. The current backlog of orders is mainly accumulated and unshipped when the original core was short. In fact, the situation facing ASML is not optimistic, and only the new orders can reflect the current and future trends. And the order volume in the first quarter fell by 46% year-on-year, which is the real situation, indicating that the future prospects are not clear. In fact, some clues can also be seen from the two recent voices of ASML, which seem to be related. According to related news, the president of ASML told the media a few days ago that China's independent research and development of lithography machines is destroying the global industrial chain. Such remarks are indeed a bit surprising. It is estimated that we are a little anxious after seeing the progress of our domestic lithography machines. Not long after that, ASML spoke out again. According to the Dutch Telegraph, ASML expects to ship more lithography machines to China this year. The news is notable again because the Netherlands only announced restrictions a few days ago. An ASML spokesman said that due to the cooling of the chip market, demand from other customers has declined, and it will be able to allocate more lithography machines to Chinese customers. It can be seen that the last utterance was paving the way for this, and more lithography machines were shipped in the name of dumping. Therefore, it is not that simple for ASML to speak out for China, but it also shows that the incident has become clearer. First of all, ASML is really panicking. Some of the rhetoric of ASML at the financial report meeting is mainly to dispel doubts from the outside world and avoid adverse effects. Still, shares fell after the earnings report, pointing to concerns about the long-term outlook. Because not only TSMC has slowed down production expansion, but many other fabs have cut capital expenditures, such as Intel, UMC, Global Foundry, Samsung, etc. Only a number of fabs in mainland China continue to expand, such as SMIC and Huahong Semiconductor. Therefore, ASML will explain the shipment problem of Chinese enterprises many times when the limit is increased, 
and the president will visit China again after six years. Secondly, the Netherlands is still playing tricks. ASML, as a company in the Netherlands, wants to ship more lithography machines and naturally needs the consent of their government, especially the DUV lithography machines that the United States wants to restrict, and the Netherlands also said it will restrict them. Although the Netherlands does not really want to expand restrictions on ASML, it is only a small country in Europe after all. It still did not withstand the pressure of the United States and announced that it would follow the restrictions of the United States. However, the Netherlands still played tricks and left a gap for ASML. Recently, a senior Dutch official said that ASML still has a large part of older models of DUVs that are allowed to be sold to China. Again, US restrictions are discounted. ASML said that not all submersible DUVs will be restricted, and there is still one model that can be shipped. This model is mainly used for mature processes above 14 nanometers and is not subject to restrictive standards. The new US regulations require restrictions on 14 nanometers and below manufacturing processes. Although the model mentioned by ASML can also be used to produce 7 nanometers chips, TSMC also used it in this way at the earliest, but it requires multiple exposures. The cost is too high and the yield rate is too low. In short, the Netherlands and ASML have confirmed that this model can be shipped, and the restrictions in the United States have also largely expired. So far, the dust has basically settled on the event of restricting DUV lithography machines. The model mentioned by ASML can meet the mature process that we focus on. In this regard, some foreign media said that the dust has settled on the restriction of lithography machines. In the past two years, ASML's revenue from the mainland has accounted for about 14%, and it is expected to reach 20% this year. In this way, ASML can achieve its goal. On the one hand, it will expand the sales of lithography machines, and on the other hand, it will suppress domestic lithography machines. We must be soberly aware that while using the development of ASML lithography machines, we must also promote breakthroughs in domestic lithography machines. Thank you for your watching.